For question number five, it says find the domain of f of x equals cos x over 1 minus sin x. When we do a problem like this, there's two things we need to consider. The domain restrictions on the individual parts, so in this case, the cos and the sine. So in this case, cos and sine have a domain that is all real numbers. Okay, so we don't need to worry about the restrictions on the the component parts, the embedded functions, cos or sine. We do also have to consider the other restrictions, and one of them would be the denominator not equal to zero. Okay, that means that one minus sine x cannot equal to zero. Well, when sine is equal to one, the denominator is equal to zero, so sine x cannot equal one. The angles that give us sine x equal to 1, when we think of our circle, sine is equal to 1 up here. So the angles that give us that are going to be pi over 2. And it's going to hit that 1 every n2 pi. So I'm going to write n2 pi as a repeating solution. So we cannot x cannot equal pi over 2 plus n2 pi. 